what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump in real quick and see who is spying on Sagittarius we haven't done one of these in a while um so let's just see what's going on who is it that has the balls to spy on Sagittarius ninth house collective the Mandula awakening collective at that who's spying spirit this is going to be for your sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house very particular messages here on the manjula awakening for your ninth house but even with that being said just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest okay all right spirit show us clearly and accurately um what is who is not what is who is spying on sag a knight of cups a romantic love interest possibly someone that fumbled the bag the first time around this could be a water sign uh definitely could be a water sign um i clearly have reversals in this deck i typically don't um but i definitely feel like that this is um a water sign with the king of cups here at the bottom of the deck um this is someone that um i don't know I guess this person is someone that spies on you possibly when they're drinking um this is I, I definitely feel like this is someone that kind of feels like they missed an opportunity with sagittarius could be a cancer scorpio pisces um or it could just be someone that is This, this person is emotionally manipulative. I will say that. I definitely feel like that this is someone that plays on people's emotions. This person is definitely giving off someone with some secrets. How would Sagittarius know who this is? How would say show us some characteristic traits of who this person is? It could be a knight. So like... They could work in some sort of job where, like, they, like, I don't know, like, there's battle, armor, keeper of some sort of honor and code. When I think about a knight, I definitely think of someone that could possibly be in the military. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, we're absolutely here with civil servant here. Um, this is someone that could... Uh, be a little bigger um they they could it's like for some of you all this person is going to be kind of big and love to cook the uh, for others of you all this person is going to be very fit and very a stickler for the rules okay um but i feel like that this person comes off as very as very wise and healthy whether they're big or not they come off as very wise and experience instead of saying healthy let me say experience because i feel like that with the healthy what i'm feeling is that this person knows how to like they're really good about making the healthier choice wow soldier okay we do have soldier here at the bottom of the deck So let's see, why is this person spying on Sagittarius? Why is this person spying on Sag? Spirit is telling me to use the Amira deck. So Spirit wants to give a little bit of tea. Why is this person spying on Sagittarius? This is someone that could be a little bit younger. Like this person is your age or younger. Like just like... Uh, this is definitely someone closer to your age range, but there is the potential that this person could be younger. It depends on your age range. This person is definitely in their mid third, like they're in their mid thirties, early to mid thirties. Let me see early to mid thirties. Let me see spirit. Um, why is this person spying on Sagittarius? Why is this person spying on Sag? Something to do with finances? Why is this person spying on Sagittarius? Why 
Why is this person spying on Sag? Give me just a second, okay? Let me get these out here. Amir kind of... Yeah, there's some... I will say that there's some gossip around some sort of... There is some gossip around you and possibly your finances. Why is this person spying past life? Hmm... Why do I feel like someone ended up with their match? Why do I feel like somebody met their match and now they're missing Sag because they don't like what their match, they don't like what their energy is feeling like now that they're forced to deal with it? I do feel like that while this person is watching you and spying, I do feel like that there is somebody. If you're not blonde, honey, I feel like that there is a blonde female, someone with lighter hair, someone younger that is possibly using this person for money or they're entangled in a union with this person, which is showing up as some sort of soulmate. I'm not going to lie. But they are in some sort of union with this person here. But there is this hopes of a new opportunity with their one true love. Just take it, just take that as it resonates. Okay. Let me see. Mm -mm. Let me see. Because I don't know what's the situation between Sagittarius and this person. What is the situation between Sagittarius and this person? Lighthearted, adapt, finding out, change, things coming to light, heal, not today. Let me see what's going on between Sag and this person that's spying on them. There's some sort of new opportunity. There's some sort of learning and expansion that is happening between you and this person. There are boundaries that need to be established. Shit. What's this person's intentions as it pertains to my lovely Sagittarian Ninth House Collective? How does this person uh, view Sagittarius? How does this person feel about Sagittarius? What is this person's next likely actions as it pertains to Sagittarius? And then from the bottom of the deck, I would like to see how Sagittarius shows up in this situation, as well as some advice for Sag, please. This person's intentions is to reconcile, reunite, have some sort of celebration here. Um, that's their intentions. How they view you, the Ten of Pentacles. Um, they definitely view you as the bag, honey. Um, get your shit together. Stable, solid. Um, their next likely actions towards you, Sag, is the world card. How you show up in this situation, the King of Pentacles. And um, what's your advice from this situation? It's the Ten of Wands. Anchored by the Ten of Swords. There's still some baggage that you have to put down here. There's some baggage that you have to put down. And I feel like that it's the baggage from this situation for it to be your advice for how to navigate this. Um, but this person definitely desires to have some sort of their intentions. Uh, let's see. What is the Three of Cups? Because if there's another person, this person's intentions could be to, you know, try to have their cake and eat it too. But let's see. Why the Three of Cups for this person's intentions? The Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, Overindulgence, Knight of Cups, Magician, 
Six of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Ooh, this person might actually want to put the work in. They view you as some laid back, stable, solid person. They did. They definitely fumbled the bag in the past. This person fumbled the bag in the past here. Okay, they view you as the Ten of Pentacles. You, but you have to put some sort of burden down. What's the Ten of Pentacles for how this person views Sagittarius? They could view you as family as well. There's a new phase. Something is transcending. New level. Ten of Pentacles. The moon card. Very elusive. They they view you as um, very stable and solid, but very kept, like best kept secret is the energy that I'm getting from there. Yes, there is definitely some sort of illusion around your stability also for this person. This person is definitely confused on how, sta how stable you are. You know what I'm saying? They definitely wonder what is your stability level like. Because you give off a very laid back approach. This person's likely actions is the world card. What is this? They're coming in fast. So they're coming in fast. With a whole bunch of emotions. A whole bunch of emotions in this part of they will be coming in. Their how their likely actions. I do feel like that this person will be coming in to express something. Um but there's something that brings about some sort of anxiety. What are they rushing to? Like show me what they're rushing with. What's in these arrows here? What are these arrows representing here? The five of pentacles they've been left out in the code or that they want to come in out of the code there is some sort of awareness of some sort of self-sabotage they want to win something at all costs the two of pentacles yeah they want to win something at all costs they want to plant some seeds it's going to take some patience What's the, five, what's the story of the Five of Pentacles? The Four of Wands. This person could be experiencing some sort of feeling like this person could be experiencing some sort of instability. Is that right? I think they're being uh, they've been kicked out of the home. Yes, they've been kicked out of the home. Somebody's been kicked out of a home for some of y'all. So, and if someone's not been kicked out of a home, something came to an end with the Queen of Pentacles energy that they was committed to, and it left it did its damage on this person too. How this person views Sagittarius? I mean, like Sagittarius, how you're showing up in this is the King of Pentacles. Why is Sag showing up? There's there's something to do with your finances here. I want you to know that. Your stability, your solidarity. Yeah, your solidarity. There's something about your drive and ambition. Told you, can't make this shit up. It's like you won't let nothing stop you, honey. This person sees that. Talk about fortitude. That'd be sad cheering this reading. That's how this person like that's how you're showing up. Like nothing, like nothing is like you just seem to be, I'm not going to say, I'm, I don't want to say unbreakable, but I definitely feel like that you take your licking and you keep on ticking here. But your advice is the Ten of Wands. There is something like to keep persevering forward. Don't give up. But um, definitely like there's some sort of baggage. Let me see. What is this Ten of Wands? Um, what is this Ten of Wands anchored by the Ten of Swords? The worst is over. There is something about... Wow. It's your time. It's your time, baby. I don't know the I, honey, I don't know the tune, but it's your time, Sage. It is your time. I think that you should put something down 
this is who's spying on you. But I feel like that you got something new coming in for you. Yes. And you got to make your decision. It's ultimately like this person that's spying on you is waiting to see what type of lover that you are investing in before they show their approach. But this person will be approaching you. Is there new love coming in for Saji? Yes. I feel like that you already know this energy. Eight of Pentacles. I mean, Eight of Swords says that it could be an air sign. Page of Pentacles could be younger than you. When is the Page of Pentacles born? Y'all, I uh, just did a beautiful past life reading. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, personal. Um, so if you guys want a past life reading, definitely check that out. So if a Page of Pentacles, this person could be born between March 21st and June 20th. Does Sag know this? Uh, is Sag already bumping shoulders with this newer energy? I feel like that you may be talking, communicating with this person. Yes. I just don't... Contemplating what it is that you're seeking. I think you have your eye on this person. Possibly. Yes. But... That's who's spying on you. Let's see. What is the advice for Sagittarius as it pertains? I feel like I already gave you your advice. You got a, you got a, you got a choice to make. It's your time to shine. I do feel like that you can put the baggage, the burden down of this. Yeah, recognition. Somebody's recognition, recognizing you for the work that you put in. Um, baby, uh, you got to ask yourself. Evaluation. Feed out what doesn't serve you. Reevaluate this situation. You have to ask yourself, are you going to sacrifice somebody that's going to see you the first time around for somebody that it took them losing you to see you? It's like somebody's on this board. Somebody's coming in that's going to see you for you right out the gate versus somebody took you through the roller coaster and they're now ultimately trying to see what competition they're up against before they approach. But it's, the, it's on you. It's your time, baby. Make your decision. You can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. Y'all, let me roll the dice. And if this is your message and you like the way that it went, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. It does help circulate us. If this is your message and you would like a personalized reading, head over to the manjulaawakening.com. We do have a few um, promo codes, okay? Um, we have air, uh, we have Taurus, Aries. Cancer and Aquarius. Spirit is saying read off the major arcanas. So we have Virgo. Gemini. Capricorn. Scorpio. Aquarius. Leo. Taurus. Cancer. And that'd be it. Love y'all.